Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, this morning I have the F09 Blackhawk helicopter. This is a 147 scale full reproduction of a US Blackhawk helicopter that is an RC helicopter. In other words, you can fly it with a remote and it's got a direct drive brushless motor and it's got a brushless motor in the tail. It's got a light system. The doors actually open on this. It's highly detailed. I am so scared I am going to crash this because, oh my God, this thing is beautiful. It's so beautiful, in fact, that you can tell someone has labored to make the detail look really good on the helicopter, put all the stickers on, assemble it the proper way so you don't see any of the electronics, like everything is hidden. So obviously that's a lot of labor and I'm afraid the cost reflects that. This is not an inexpensive helicopter. This is more for people who really enjoy RC helicopters and want something authentic looking that looks really nice. The wheels in the front, there are shock absorbers on them. So when it lands, it actually compresses. It's pretty cool, just like the real thing. As for lights, it is kind of glowy at night. They do have uh, a red light on one side, a green light on the other for orientation. You got lights on the top. You've got a spotlight on the front. The only thing I think some people may not like is that you have to use the battery that are made for this helicopter. Well, you, you could get around it. If you're in the RC hobby, you could figure out how to get around it pretty easy. It takes three cell LiPo batteries, and I have one here. It's an 11.1 .1 volt, so three cell, 30C, the one they give you, but it's 1450 milliamp hours. So you get about 12 minutes of flight time, which is pretty decent. And the batteries themselves have a little spot on it to plug in the spotlight that goes in the front. Now it does come in a bind and fly version and a ready to fly version. I have the ready to fly version. So if you're not familiar, bind and fly means you have your own remote and you'll set up your own remote and then bind it. But if you have a ready to fly like I have here, they include the remote and out of the box, it's ready to fly. In the manual, it shows what type of receivers can be accepted. So if you're doing a bind and fly, you can put a spectrum receiver in it, it looks like. Maybe Futaba, um, anything S-Bus, it looks like that from what I saw in the pictures. A few more things to tell you before I go fly it. The blades are carbon fiber nylon blades on top and they are 180 millimeters so this would be 180 times four they say that this thing is crash proof but i'm not going to test that out at least i don't want to on the remote you have 6g stabilization which i'm going to fly it in and you also have manual mode 3d stabilization it almost looks like on the box that it can do flips but i'm looking at the blade system and i don't think it can do flips but i could be totally wrong and somebody's going to flip it but i'm not going to be the one to try it because if it doesn't flip fast enough it's going into the ground so jumping back to the batteries, you can order this with just one battery, two batteries, or a total of three batteries. So I have two here plus one inside the helicopter. Now I've only flown this once. When I first received it, I was so impressed with how it looked. It was nighttime, so I took it out at night and flew it around my backyard, totally blind. And I will say I was a little worried because I had never flown this thing and trying to fly it in the dark was a little bit uh, scary, but it seemed to fly okay. So I don't think I should have any problems out here today. So let's go fly it. Okay, first things first, power on our little radio, include it. There we go, we're all set to go. Next thing on the side, this is your hold switch, so push it up. Over here you have your high low rates, I'll leave it on high for now. Over here you have your 6G 3D, I'm gonna leave it on 6G. Over on this side, I think the switch goes up for my use. I'm not really sure. Oh well, guess we'll find out here. Next thing, grab your helicopter, and on the very bottom, you probably can't see it here, but there's a little white button. I'm gonna press it, and everything will turn green, and my spotlight will come on. There we go, spotlight, and uh, put this down on the ground, let it adjust itself nicely. Try to get it kind of level, there we go. It's uh, should be ready to go. All right, so we'll take the hold switch off, move the throttle up, it spins up, there we go. Go up, stability mode is on, I can't flip it, so I can go side to side, can't flip it. And uh, I should be able to fly it around. This will be my first forward flight in daylight here. I'm just gonna keep it up in the air. I have a GoPro over there. So I'll bring it over to the GoPro. I think the GoPro can get it. Going over top. There we are. Turn it, bring it around in a circle. I don't want to fly it too fast. I'm really kind of nervous about this one because it's so nice looking. You know, this is one of those helicopters that you might want to keep as a collector's edition, but man, does that look cool. <laughs> This is the most awesome looking helicopter I have ever seen. Hey guys, let me bring it over to my gooder camera over here. So there's the GoPro again. 
Doesn't that look cool? I've got it really close to me here. There we are. Spinning blades of death. Uh, bring it over to that one and then way up. All right, here we go and I'll take it uh, back and forth here. All right, give it a little bit more speed. I don't know if the cameras can see this with the sun there. I just don't want to go into the trees. Try not to hit my head, whoa, over my head. I like to fly low to the ground with helicopters and this one here does quite well. Coming around my camera there. Come back to me doing these little S maneuvers. Woohoo! You could probably get this thing going extremely fast. I'm trying to keep it pretty tame out here because I'm trying to keep it uh, where the cameras could see it. I'll bring it over here. And also keep it out of the sun so I don't blind myself. But I don't know if it picks up really well, but you can see that green light on the side. Like here, I'll just come over to it a little bit. And how much power does it have? Like I'm in uh, what I would call beginner mode, low rates, but check this out in low rates. If you want to go up, you can go up. If you want to go down, you can go down. And let's drop her down for a landing. That's kind of a hard landing, but we landed. Now I'm going to put an Insta360 Go camera on the helicopter. It can lift it easy. Uh, I'm just going to double side tape it to the bottom and to the top and get some footage. I don't know how much vibration happens on this helicopter because, you know, if you get a lot of vibration, then the image might look a lot shaky, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Here we go. I'm surprised how long this helicopter flies for. So I've had one battery on and I flew it around and then I put the Insta360 Go camera on it with the same battery. It shows on the bottom, I'm down from four lights to two lights. So I'm gonna put another battery on and see how it does. You just press these two buttons here and then you pull on this end and the battery slides right out. And then over here, you have the spotlight. You pull that out and then you slide this off. There we go, it slides off and you put it on your other battery. So then you take the battery, you slide it in the bottom like this, it goes all the way in, make sure it's in securely, and then when it's in securely, push it forward. Then when you have it in, just power it on, press this button here, and uh, it should come to life. There we go. And let's take it on up again. Fly so nice. All right, let's go this way. Gotta stay out of the sun, because it's gonna blind me. I'll bring it back. Those lights on the side, the uh, red light and the green light, very easy to spot. And that spotlight up front, well, that's obviously very easy to spot. It flies like any quality helicopter on the market today with a direct drive motor. I will say I am impressed with the length of time you can fly this. I've been flying for quite some time and I'm actually getting tired of flying now. I'm like, okay, I guess I gotta bring it down for a landing. Oh, little kids over there checking it out. Gotta watch out for them. We do have a wind blowing here too, but no, it's not really affecting it. Guess with those four blades, it uh, handles itself quite well. I'm gonna spin it around and put it down for a nice landing in this wind. There we go. Bring it over here. Spin around, bring it down. Get ready to hit the throttle kill switch. There we go. And she's down. All right, so I'm pretty impressed with this helicopter. How about I show you what comes in the box? Check this out. This is the box your Black Hawk helicopter arrives in. Inside the box, you'll find your Black Hawk helicopter and accessories. On the rear, you have a 5200 kV brushless motor. The landing wheel is not just for show, it does spin. 
The crew panel doors on the highly detailed frame open to reveal the direct drive motor. From the bottom you can see the 630 kV brushless direct drive motor. The wheels on the forward landing gear do indeed spin and they are spring loaded. Looking at the opposite side of the helicopter you can see it's also highly detailed. The upper gear mechanism of the helicopter is comprised of plastic as well as aluminum parts. Several indicator lights can be found all over the helicopter including a red colored one on one side and a green colored one on the opposite side. Total takeoff weight is 432 grams. An instruction manual for the helicopter is provided. A charging device is included to charge up the batteries. The included remote has a very bright screen and all the switches are nicely labeled. To power the remote you will need to provide four AA batteries not included. An instruction manual for the remote is provided. And finally, spare parts include a tail blade and four prop blades. So my final thoughts on this helicopter. Well, as many of you know, I've only recently learned how to fly helicopters. So that's how you saw me flying it here. A little bit of practice and you can fly it like I can fly it. I'm not great by any sense of the imagination, but I can certainly handle a helicopter like this, no problem. I will say this flies just like all those other high-end quality helicopters I've been reviewing with direct drive motors. So. It's pretty decent in that regard. I didn't think it was going to be this good, but it flies just like them. I was a little cautious at first because I didn't want to damage it. So I was keeping it low to the ground and flying it very slow. But uh, after I got a sense that, oh my God, this thing's just like a normal helicopter. Forget that it's all this highly detailed helicopter and just fly it like a normal helicopter. Well then, you know, you can whip it around. The only thing I had to watch out for was the trees here. Because those trees, ah, they don't like helicopters. Folds up nice, you know, the props here, when you put it away, you can fold it, like three of them like this and have the other one going like that. And then you got this thin design so it doesn't take up a lot of room in your house. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is if I did crash it, that's a lot of pieces on here. You know, a lot of highly detailed pieces. So from what I can tell, it's uh, pretty much designed to stay together in one piece. If you want to modify it, sure, take it apart, but you, want, you don't want to be doing that every other day. Yeah, it's really nice. And those kids that were out here, they saw it and they were like, is that a military helicopter? They were pretty impressed that they saw something like this flying because you don't see something like this every day. And that's why the price is a little bit higher than normal for a comparable helicopter that's not as detailed with the lights and everything else. So like I said, you get everything in a box if you get the ready to fly version, the controller, the helicopter, as many batteries as you'd like up to, well, I think up to a max of three. And uh, you can fly for a long time if you have three batteries. I was surprised at how much flight time I got. I'm so used to flying helicopters for four minutes, five minutes, and that's about it. And then I land them, but this thing was just going and going and going. So it's pretty decent. And even right now, what am I at? So let me show you here. I'm at two lights on the bottom. That's the second battery. So the first battery was having some fun and then putting the Insta360 Go on it and flying around. And the second battery was me having even more fun and flying around here with the kids and other things like that anyway. So I got a lot of flight time out of it. I know I'm just jabbering on. So links are below. Go check it out. You can find it on the RC Going website. See if it's something for you. I'm sure if you fly helicopters, you probably don't have something like this. So if you fly helicopters, you probably need something like this so that you don't look like everybody else at the flying field and you have something really cool. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions on this heli, well, then just post them below and I will get back to you. And for now, I say thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.